Hey, hey, everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and I'm going to be playing some Urine Space and Everybody Wants You Dead from Adam Gryu. I um, hope I'm pronouncing that name closely, uh, but this was made during the uh, GB Jam 5, and it is a uh, first-person shooter of sorts, kind of Super Mario Galaxy style. Um, has, like, gravity, you can jump between planets. Obviously, these coins give you a thousand points, but you can also kind of, you have, like, telekinetic powers. You can grab these enemies. It's one-hit kill. Kind of reminds me of, uh, I've actually never played it a ton, but it kind of reminds me of Devil Daggers, uh, which is another kind of, like, more like PlayStation 1 era. And I don't know if it's a roguelike in the sense of everything, but it's, you know, it's an arcade game for sure. Um, I don't know if it's procedurally generated or if it's, uh, you know, mapped out realm or world, but these coins, again, are going to give you kind of bulk points, and then killing enemies also gives you points, um, and these little beacons that you can see, uh, in the sky and whatnot are going to show you where you can find, ah, uh, different coins, so we'll see how long I check out this game here, it's going to be, uh, yeah, it does seem to be the same level layout each time, so... Um, or at least the last couple times, so... And you can just go fucking flying. Um, and yeah, the, pretty simple gameplay here. Um, and yeah, you can pick up these bomb cubes, and then you can, uh, drop the cubes as well. Um, pretty minimalistic, but yeah, you can jump, double jump, and that is the gist of the game. We're just trying to get a high score, so... I'll play this until I not even get sick of it per se, but fuck till I get a good score. You can see my scores from earlier. I've just played a little bit of this, but let's see if I can at least crack um, 5,000. Hopefully 10,000 is what I'm going to actually shoot for. Hopefully I can get the hang of this and get a little bit better. But um, yeah, I think I mentioned uh, the developer of this game, Adam Grew, at the top, but this is the developer of A Short Hike, if anyone's familiar with that game, and that is one of not only my favorite games but john and randall both uh i think john had it on his it might have been, even been his favorite game of the year on our holiday episode like our end of the year wrap up not necessarily game of the year that came out this year but it's just kind of a oh look at that platform all these uh, this is so cool this like 3d game boy there's a bunch of different palettes too which i'll uh test out in a little bit um but uh Ah, oh, man, thousand. I'm playing like an asshole. Um, but obviously, uh, you know, you can tell pretty quickly if this is a game that seems like something you want to check out. Um, we'll always have links in the video description right at the top to where you can check out the game for yourself. So we don't necessarily intend for everyone to watch these videos all the way through. Feel free if you want to. But uh, my thought here is that most people will just kind of see like oh this game looks sweet check out the link and if you you know if you agree that it looks sweet like we do um then you can just go play it for yourself as opposed to watching me play it like a fucking hack as <laughs> as it is um but let's try to get some coins like i said i'm gonna go for that ten thousand. obviously you seem to be racking up points just by surviving for a you know certain amount of time or you know as time goes on and then you get points again for killing enemies and it's kind of hard to see like that when I got hit right head on or dead on head on dead on um but and yeah this is definitely the same layout every time um but you also get points for killing enemies um and obviously picking up these coins so just kind of a balance risk reward sort of fucking system 1089 this is pathetic how bad I'm playing, because, yeah, I basically got 89 points, because you can just pick up that coin automatically each time. Ooh, where are we going? Oh, I'm fucking flying. Oh, get on that planet. Jump up. A jump up, a jump up, a get down. Every time I hear that song, I think about uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, which actually makes me really sad. Right? Like, Robin Williams, like, I don't typically get super sad about celebrities when they pass away. I mean, it's it's always sad when somebody, like, you know, loss of life. Um, but, you know, there's I don't usually have a huge connection, but, I mean, I just grew up watching so many Robin Williams things, whether it was Mrs. Doubtfire or Aladdin or uh, Hook, which, God, that movie is so bad. Again, no offense if, if you like that movie still or have, have affection for it. And I do have affection for that movie, but God, I tried rewatching it recently. 
uh, a couple years ago, and it was pretty. Oh, I got the top three. Got on the top three leaderboard. This is just my own personal leaderboard. It's not an online leaderboard, obviously. Um, but yeah, I was pretty underwhelmed with Hook. Let's say it's not a terrible film, but I was I was underwhelmed. Let me check myself so that I just don't start a a riot in the comments here. Um, but yeah, it's super cheesy. It's definitely one of Spielberg's. Uh, least spielberg -y films, although it's not like Spielberg doesn't lay on the cheese sometimes. I just watched uh, Ready Player One with my brother and his fiance, and that movie is definitely pretty cheese, too. Oh, where are we at? I'm getting close to five. Like I said, I want to hit 10,000. Uh, dang it. But that's my best yet, 4,300. But what a cool style. Like this, I don't know, like who knew, again, this is obviously far beyond what the Game Boy could accomplish, but even still in this like limited uh, capacity game jam, like this is pretty fucking impressive. Um, and even in the uh, game description, uh, the game developer mentioned like, I didn't have enough time to work on this or didn't have as much time as I hoped. Um, and hope you like it, but, like, this is not, you know, I wanted to flesh out some more ideas here, but, again, you know I'm a sucker for these pick-up-and-play arcade games, and this is kind of no exception, and I kind of really dig how it's, uh, the same layout every time, and not that, I mean, once you just start running, I mean, you, you get moving so fast, but these pixels are, are really, really great. And there's so many of these GB Jam games that have, like, a bunch of different palettes and just... I don't know, I love this style, so let's start switching the palettes up each time. There's just, like, at the quick press of a button. Uh, we'll try the next palette out and... Uh, kind of reminds me of Slugcaster, which every time you die in that game, which we checked out not too long ago... And uh, talked about it on the podcast not too long ago either, although that episode might not be quite out yet by the time this video comes out, but... At some point, we talk about it on the podcast, and, uh, yeah, I really like how it just switches up the palettes, like, every time you die. But, yeah, you jump, double jump in this game. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Um, definitely, obviously, mentioned jumping, and I'm sure by now, hopefully, you're just playing this game and you're not watching me play anymore, because I just, I love this game. This is another one I'm just gonna install on my computer and leave it hanging there for good. Um, fuck! I thought I was gonna get a little better run, but second, second best. Um, okay, I don't know if I'm gonna get 10,000, so for now I'm, let's say I'm aiming for 5,000, because I do want to check out maybe a couple other indie games tonight. Again, if you're watching live on the stream, we're always checking out indie games, or at least I'm always checking out indie games when I'm, uh, streaming on our YouTube or on our Twitch channel, and then we usually try to upload them to our YouTube channel after the fact as well, so, um... But I already forgot to switch the palette after I died, but I'll do it after this one. Um, as time ticks on. Ah, oh, that coin is, or that uh, beam is just shining through the planet. Ah, palette time. Oh, this is cool. I like this purple and uh, pink, purple, red. And then again, you can drop the items or you can toss them. Um, same thing with enemies. So you got regular, but it seems like there's just regular boxes, bomb boxes, and enemies. And that's pretty much all you can do. Um, 1160, come on. So I'll do two runs with each pallet. Because I'm dying so fast. <laughs> uh, I'm really bad at this game, but it's so cool. And obviously, it looks like you get some combos uh, if you kill more than one enemy at a time. Um... Yeah. Oh, miss. So I wonder if you get... Nope. It doesn't count as like... Oh, wait a sec. Maybe it does. No. Like the enemy that you throw doesn't seem to count as part of your combo. Like if you throw an enemy into another enemy, you just get the credit for killing one, not for two. Which is maybe a little bit of a bummer because you, maybe you should get a little bit of a reward for the risk of grabbing the enemy. Not that it's... uh terribly risky, although they do seem to roll in clusters, you motherfucker! Let's keep going. So, pallet switch. Now we're in more of a gray situation. 
Let's look for those beacons. Land on the planet. Yes. 2100. Oh, shit. Sound design in this game is amazing, too, because it's really, it really helps you. Not that I'm able to, or not that I've never fucked up, but it does help you kind of realize, like, oh, I think there's an enemy behind me um, that might do some damage. Uh, where is this coin? Let's go to the other side. Oh! I gotta take it on the other side. Never been a huge Red Hot Chili Peppers fan, but they do have some pretty good songs. They also have some pretty fucking bad songs. Danny California. Again, no offense to the Chili Peppers fans out there, but Danny California is one of the worst songs of all time. Fuck! 3,600. Oh, top three, though. Um, but yeah, that it, it might be... I might be biased because that used to play uh, both Randall and I used to work at Best Buy for quite a while and it was on this like 20 minute video loop <laughs> when that album came out and I guess maybe it just got beaten into my brain where I was just like fuck this song but it's a pretty bad song and it's also a rip off of Tom Petty as uh, I'm obviously not the first to mention um, oh 32 Oh yeah, come on, 42, 43. Yes, 43. Let me get that, five, 53, 54. Yes, so, okay, five thou, got it. Yeah, so you don't even get the credit for like chucking them. Ah, oh, 55 though, best score yet, fuck yeah. Okay, so let's do Switch the palette. Oh, we're going totally black and white here. Um, five more attempts. and that Because, again, I'm going to keep this video short and sweet because you can probably tell pretty quickly here if this is a game that you want to check out. Because, um, like I said, I do want to check out some more indies. Um, so that's just kind of what I like doing. I like just getting like a little bite-sized taste of some gameplay. There's one attempt. Fuck! I'm going to pallet it up each time, too. Oh, this is awesome. This is, like, pure Game Boy with, like, more of a bluish tint. It's almost like if if the Game Boy had, like, the backlight on it or if it even... Not even the backlight, but, the, like, that little, uh... It's not a USB attachment, but that, uh... Shoot, I don't even know what to call it, but that, uh... The little flashlights that you could attach to the Game Boy, the reading light sort of uh, attachment with a little coily, uh... <laughs> adjustable arm so run two of five here's what I'm on 50 like 500 is my best so far going for 10 I don't think it's gonna happen but that's what I'm I'm going for for some, <laughs> some reason when I said happen I felt like I sounded like Owen Wilson happen okay that's two switch the palette little brown and purple and I didn't mean that to sound like I'm complimenting myself I sound like oh I'm so cool I sound like Owen Wilson <laughs> oh just overly self-conscious fuck three is this back to the main palette no we're still mixing it up so maybe I won't maybe I won't count at five even though this is four or five if I do stick to that but maybe I'll play until I get back to the normal palette and then do one run on the normal palette. But I love how when you're like flying off the planets or like way out in the open. Ah, oh, five. Oh, another new palette. Although this uh, actually that maybe that was back to the main palette because this one I feel like I've seen before. This pink and purple again. Um, but man, I just really, really did this game. I really love a straightforward arcade game. Again, I'm not the best at first-person shooters in any capacity, let alone uh, playing with uh, adjusted, like I have this, I'm using this anti-micro software, which I think I might have mentioned earlier in the video. Maybe not, I might have mentioned it uh, just earlier in the stream before I started. But basically, I just like have my controller uh, 
calibrated via this anti-micro software. And... Yeah, I've definitely cycled through all the pallets. But it feels super comfortable to play this game uh, in spite of my lack of first-person shooter capabilities but yeah i've seen i have seen all the pallets so let's this is my favorite of the bunch probably so far so let's play this run and one more on this pallet well there you go so this last run here on this uh setup or on this pallet or on this game before we check out something else fucking flying but yeah when you land you get some of the sound effects back and it's just like airy whooshy sounds but i am super like this makes me I, already i was pumped i'm playing one more that doesn't count um <laughs> typical me um but i was already after playing a short hike super pumped to see whatever adam grew uh was up to next but especially after this and like He's got about a dozen other games on uh, their Itch.io page, or pretty close to it. That doesn't count either. Um, last one here, though, for sure. Um, but yeah, just so many cool games, and wasn't expecting to see, like, arcade -y stuff like this. I was kind of expecting maybe some more narrative stuff. Um, but it looks like they have, like, a Paper Mario-style RPG in uh, development. Fuck! Playing like an asshole, but... Yeah, I think I'm going to leave this one here as, uh, let's get that pink and purple one back because I do like this palette too. But yeah, I really, really dig this game um, and really recommend checking it out. So as always, we'll have links in the video description to where you can check out the game for yourself. And uh, we'll always be checking out indie games and all sorts of games and uh, chatting them on the podcast, checking them out on our YouTube and Twitch, check the playlists out and whatnot. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, as always. And uh, this will be the actual final run. And I'm actually going to see this out. I was originally going to actually cut the video here. But I'm going to see this out and see if I can crack that 5,500 for any of you that are still tuning in. Oh, yeah. Got to grab these enemies a little more. Play a little more aggressively, maybe. But I got to get these fucking coins. Smashed. Oh, no. No! All right, but yeah. Definitely recommend checking out You're in Space and Everyone Wants You Dead. I think that's the name. I hope I'm remembering that correctly. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, as always, like I was saying before. And take care.